This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Tuesday, February 9th, 2016. Euro dollar. So it's clear that the euro now is, remains very well supported on dips ahead of that previous resistance now turned support at 110.60, 110 with the market potentially focused on fresh upside towards a measured move objective at 114.10. Again, if we take that consolidation that we'd seen in the previous several days between 110.60 and 107.11, that 350 point consolidation, after breaking to the upside above 110.60, it would project a 350 point move towards 14.10, which also coincides with some critical medium term resistance. Sterling dollar. So despite recent setbacks in cable all the way back down into the 143s, it'd be difficult to determine that the market is ready for a bearish resumption at this point, given the intense declines that we'd seen in early 2016, taking the market down to near seven year lows at 140.80. So at this point, still consider the possibility of this correction continuing with the market holding on a closed basis above 143.50 in favor of a higher low and fresh upside extension back towards a more natural corrective extension to the 148 area before the market really looks for a resumption of the broader downtrend. At a close back below 143.50, however, would negate this prospect and open the door for a more deeper acceleration back towards those recent 148.80 lows dollar yen. So looking at the dollar yen monthly chart, it's very clear that this market could be poised for significant declines in the coming weeks and months with the potential setbacks extending back towards some critical previous resistance now turned support in the 105.50 area. At this point, it's difficult to determine that the market will extend this far, but it is important to highlight this prospect and show the possibility that the market could still pull back to this point with very little support in the way between 105.45 and current levels around 115. At at this point, any rally should be very well capped into the 118 area, with deeper setbacks now seen back towards next initial support in the 112 area potentially in the days ahead. Euro Swiss. So despite recent pullbacks in Euro Swiss, the market remains highly constructive following that break that we had seen several days back above the previous peak at 110.50. At this point, fresh upside is seen towards the 114 area, and any setbacks now should be very well supported into the 109 area in favor of a higher low and fresh upside extension. Ultimately, with Euro Swiss, only back below 107.15 would compromise the bullish outlook for the market. Aussie dollar. So overall, Aussie continues to trade within a broader downtrend, and any rallies therefore are classified as corrective, with the market constantly looking for a lower top in favor of the next major downside extension. Key support now comes in by those recent lows that we saw, those multi-year lows at 68.27, going back to earlier this year on the 15th of January. Any rally should therefore be very well capped now, ideally into the 72.65 area in favor of that next major lower top and fresh downside extension. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has seen a bit of a bounce in recent trade, and clearly here the market remains highly constructive, favoring a continuation of this uptrend back above those recent near 13-year highs at 146.90 that were set back in on January 20th. But at this point, don't rule out the possibility of maybe a lower top here as this correction continues in favor of a retest of what should be rising trend line support somewhere in the 135 area. So again, while the broader uptrend remains firmly intact, there is still risk that the market market wants to trade lower and test that trend line before it ultimately heads higher and looks to break back above 146.90. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi also remains locked within a well-defined downtrend and any rallies just like Aussie dollar here are also expected to be well capped in favor of additional weakness eventually back below some recent short-term support at 63.47 and then to retest the 2015 multi-year low at 61.30. As such, look for any rallies to be very well capped up towards 68 with only a break back above 69 to compromise the bearish outlook. The SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to be pressured to the downside, and this has seen a structural shift in this market several days back when we broke it back down below that critical previous August flash crash low in the 1837 area, or the 1830s. At this point, look for a retest of the recent low at 1811 with a break to expose the next major downside extension towards the 1700 handle further down. Any rally should continue to be very well capped with only a break back above previous support turn resistance at 1993 to compromise this outlook.
gold. So gold has now shifted in its structure with the market taking out critical resistance at 1192. The break above 11, 1192 further confirms a multi-year low now in place by that recent low that we saw at 1046 back in 2015 and it opens the door for the prospects of a significant recovery over the coming days and weeks towards next critical resistance in the form of that high that we saw going back to January of 2015 at 1307. Look for any setbacks now to be very well supported into the 1150 area, while ultimately only back below 1100 would take the immediate pressure off the top side in gold.